enjoying that sun in she pretty how's everybody doing today i for one am doing swell news now ashtray doesn't know what evidence is for him or against him thank you very much pink camera magic for directing me to news now ashtray's video of the audio of it's called audio of court uh, in it at around 2.38, 2.39, the judge says uh, there is a definition to this particular uh, traffic signal language as we noted last time. Does that mean that it was News Now Ashtray who noted it or does that mean it was the court who noted it? Hmm. Hmm. So my supposition still stands and I believe personally that it's strengthened by the court refusing to, or by the court saying we noted it instead of you noted it. Because you could have said which the defense noted, which somebody else noted, which, you know, but he said we. So court sometimes referred to themselves in third person. Now, I'm not saying it's a slam dunk. Uh, there is room for error on my part. There's always room for error on my part, just like there's always room for jello. However, I'll give, you, I'll give you the evidence that I could be wrong. The evidence that I could be wrong is later on throughout the video, the court refers to himself in the first person. I, 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 I. So, yeah, you get some more sun. Um, so it's not a slam dunk for me, but it's certainly not supporting his case. And uh, now the second, the second supposition I made, the second claim he made and the supposition I made against it, his claim was that the, the court was pissed and that they went out to, to get his wife because they were pissed that he won, that he, that he beat that prosecutor's ass and that the court had to dismiss him. That's, that makes perfect sense to me. However, when you listen to the audio, a bailiff or a deputy or a police officer at the end, after they've walked out, notes to the court that the wife was filming. Now you may say, well, why didn't they bring it up sooner? Because there's decorum involved. Because it's not the place of bailiffs and things like that to distract the court with questions like, did you allow this person to record? However, once it became clear that the judge had not allowed News Now Ashtray's wife to record, then it's fair game. Then, then we know that there was a violation and all they have to do is figure out the correct violation with which to charge her. Would it be contempt? Well, did it happen in the presence of the judge? Yes. Would it be direct contempt? Huh? That's a little, that's a little iffier because the judge didn't see it. So maybe that's, that would be a good one to hire a lawyer on because there's arguments that can be made. However, was she arrested for contempt of cop or contempt of prosecution or because you won? Absolutely not. So the statements that you made along those lines, I believe I have been vindicated on as far as that. I believe that you have strengthened my position that you did not make legal arguments to get you out of that jaywalking ticket. And yeah, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with the state of affairs. Now, could I be wrong? Absolutely. Absolutely. Would I accept it if I was wrong? Yeah. I mean, if he in fact made these, he could, he could obviously, so apparently that was some sort of a, a, a verdict hearing. I don't know. That's, I've never seen that in traffic court. Um, but again, I haven't, I don't get tickets. I haven't been in traffic court for 20 years, maybe give or take 20, 20 some odd years. So my understanding of it is, is limited and I don't represent people on traffic ticket cases and I'm in California and he's in Ohio and you know, things vary from place to place. They have city courts in, uh, Ohio. So it's all weirdness to me. So I don't, I don't have a good idea of what's going on there or why, but apparently there was a trial and that little three minute clip was just a, uh, a verdict hearing. So that's weird. And apparently the paperwork that he was handed, um, 
was not necessary. The the judge said, you know, if you'd like to hang around for a minute, the, the bailiff's going to get you some paperwork um, that you're going to have to take it to the window. And, oh, never mind, um, your case has been dismissed. You don't owe any fines, but here's your paperwork, basically. So that's weird. That's a different thing. Um, Ohio. Eh. <laughs> I don't know about it. But anyway... Unless people are going to change my arguments to be other things than they were, and they were suppositions, I, I grant you that. Um, but my suppositions are based on knowing how courts in general operate. And courts don't get mad when the defendant wins. The, the court determined that the defendant won. Why would the court get mad? And would the, would the prosecution be upset if they lost a slam dunk case? Absolutely. Rightfully so. Would that allow them, would that give them the authority to sick the bailiffs or or the sheriff or the police on the defendant? No. I still don't believe it's, it's right <clears throat> to record just willy-nilly in courts. I still believe that uh, the courts should have control over that. Um, the same in the courthouse. Obviously, if the state wants to allow people to film in the courthouse, then and fine. Um, you know, just as a as a lawyer, you have to take some extra precautions when dealing with other lawyers and with uh, your client in the hallways. But you know that that is what it is. So, so yeah. Thank you very much for uh, Pink Camera Magic for pointing me to that audio clip. I'm I am somewhat disappointed in my in my little trolley troller McTrollersons who didn't come up with that. But uh, I appreciate it, and thank you all for watching. And oh, one other piece of news that I'm sure most of you have already tuned out by this point, so it's all fine. Uh, I am going on vacation. I am going on vacation. We are. My wife and I are flying out on Saturday morning at the, uh, I think we're flying out at 7 a.m. So my wife is one of these people who loves to be at the airport like three hours early. So, so we're getting up at like three in the morning to, to leave by 3.30 or 3.45. So we could be at the airport by like 4.30 or something dumb. I don't know. Anyway. So we are flying out on Saturday morning and I may, I may do some videos while I'm away, but I won't have, I won't have my computer with me and I don't plan on buying a laptop just for, just for grins, just so I could have it with me, but I will have my phone. So I may do uh, some, some rambling with Amblin type things while I'm gone, but it won't be nearly the volume of production obviously that you're seeing out of me while I'm at home so yeah just just giving you guys a heads up find find al alternative means uh, my my discord is bumping by the way so I really thank everybody who's participating in that um, it's a pain in the ass to try to catch up you know when I'm gone gone at work all day and I get a I get a chance to check it, and I've got like 83 new messages in the last four hours, or something. It's crazy, but I appreciate everybody going on there. It is a it is a good place. Well, first of all, you can argue about whatever you want. We got people of different competing ideologies there, and you know the it never hurts to talk about it. It never hurts to humanize your opponent and and get to know them as people and be able to discuss things with them in a polite and coherent fashion. Uh, but also it's a good place. You can actually uh, have voice chats if you don't want to uh, type. If you want to have discussions in voice, that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of knowledgeable people on there. I do have lawyers hanging out in my, uh, in my Discord. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that they will offer you free legal advice. Um, I, they, they do tend to just sit back and listen, mainly. But they're there. Um, it seems like the ones who are more more willing to offer the free legal advice are the non-lawyers. 
but there are people there are people in there who are knowledgeable um, there's there's documents in there various things if you have if you have something juicy that you want people to see that's a good place to do it if you want to be able to contact me and give me documents that you think I need to see that's you can you can private message me there um, I do actually see that my my the, the Murbeast email that I use for YouTube it it's just flooded with uh, with YouTube notifications so if you're trying to contact me through that there's a very good possibility I won't see it um, so the nobody has my personal one the one I actually check <laughs> uh, that the, the best way to get to me is on discord so if you have anything that I desperately need to know or you desperately need to tell me that'd be the way to do it thank you very much for watching and enjoy hump day